Hey guys, happy Monday. Welcome to another vlog. It has been a couple weeks since I have vlogged. I just had a lot going on. I'm kind of in a transitional period in my life right now um, with more than one thing, work being one one of the big things. I'm really trying to rebrand a little bit this year, figure out like what my priorities are in terms of content, whether that be vlogging, whether that be more hauls, more Instagram reels, just things like that. Um, I would also love to know you guys' comments. Like what is the number one thing that you enjoy um, that I put out? Is it my vlogs? Is it my hauls? Is it like, I don't know. I'm sure a lot of you guys, like I have some of you guys like on Instagram and on uh, YouTube. Like, I would just like to know, like, what is your favorite things to see from me? I think that would really help for me to get some insights because I care a lot about what you guys think and what you want to see. Um, and obviously you guys know I've been struggling a little bit with my health recently. Um, I did go for that blood work that my doctor sent me for and I'm so bummed that everything came back normal. Um, everything she said that everything that is happening to me is 100% hormonally related because um, it just makes sense and I know that because that's the one thing that I've always struggled with is my hormones but it is really frustrating to constantly have headaches be really lightheaded um, and just not have any energy because of the fact that I have a very big loss of appetite and it's just causing my body to basically be in a like um, vitamin deficiency is what I'm assuming is happening so I decided to get vitamins so now I've got a vitamin B um that has like a bunch of vitamins kind of like B12 and like a lot of different things in it and then C and D is what I'm taking uh, and that's kind of like what my doctor recommended as well when I talked to her so I'm just trying to move forward and figure out what's going on with my body it has been very very difficult I haven't really wanted to talk about it a lot because I find like talking about personal health or my hormones in general is very like hard for me because I get really emotional about it since this is something I have struggled with since I've been 15 years old I've never had a regular period in my life unless I'm on birth control like even on birth control doesn't really work for me but the IUD does in terms of my period um that's exactly why I have it because it allows me to actually have a normal life in terms of a period um so yeah, I feel like I'm rambling, but I just kind of wanted to give you guys a refresher on where I'm at with my doctor um, because I want to be open with you guys, but also I don't like to always talk about this. Like I do like to keep some things for myself because I don't like to be crying on my vlogs all the time. And I know that you guys understand that it is hard to talk about, but you guys are my friends and also you guys give me a lot of good advice like whenever I do talk about stuff. So um, yeah, that's kind of the update. Steven and I were in Calgary or in Edmonton over the weekend. We had two work events. I got my hair refreshed. I um, got my Botox redone. I got a facial. I got another laser treatment. Kind of got everything done so I can just like feel like myself. Um, but I'm sorry that I haven't vlogged, guys. I truly am, but I just needed a mental break from it all. It can be pretty exhausting to always put yourself on camera because then you always have to be on. Um, or else you, you can't just sit there and like stare at the camera and be like, uh, I feel crappy, right? Um, I mean, you can, but that wouldn't be entertaining for you guys. So anyway, that's a little life update. I'm just picking up groceries right now. I'm sitting here um, just waiting for my online grocery order for them to put it into my car and... I filmed some content this morning and then I'm just going to go home. Uh, I want to fold some laundry. Just us being gone for the weekend, I feel like we have a lot of laundry like piled up, even like clean and dirty stuff that I need to put away and yeah, just take it easy a little bit. But I have some editing to do um, when I get home. But yeah, I missed you guys and I'm going to try to make this vlog as entertaining as possible. Here's my little grocery haul. I have been on a Lucky Charm cereal kick. It's been my like guilty pleasure, obsessed. But Steve and I have been trying to eat a little bit more balanced food with putting veggies with all of our meals. So we keep stocking up on veggies. I'm planning on making shepherd's pie this week. So we've got the ingredients for that. Got some romaine lettuce, some pineapple, um, some blueberries. This is one of our favorite frozen fruit blends. Um, some apples, some avocado, some chicken and some dairy products. And guys, I selected one of these of ice cream, the Elk Crossing, I think is what it's called. And for some reason, there's two of these and a vanilla in here. I do not know why, hopefully I really like this because now we have a lot. Vanilla ice cream always comes in handy for brownies and stuff like that, but I don't know why there's three in here. That's just crazy. I mean, I'll take it, it was free. But yeah, little grocery haul. Making myself a smoothie filled with antioxidants. We've got strawberries, blueberries, and raspberries and strawberry Greek yogurt. Let's blend this up. I had to share this with you guys. Rose Forever from New York sent me another box of these Forever Roses. So gorgeous. Perfect for Valentine's Day. 
look how beautiful these are like can we just take a moment to talk about them and they come in this gorgeous acrylic box i will leave all the information in the description box for you guys to shop and they give the dogs bones harvey always gets a small one come on sit nice Wayne's saying good job go in your bed harvey sit harvey come here sit he gets so excited winston's so much more behaved I bought these little organizers in the craft arts and crafts section at the dollar store and I had an idea to use it for my jewelry. It's actually perfect. Oh my goodness. All my earrings in there and some, I've got a few bracelets, my watch in here and then all my rings. This is actually going to be so much better. Good morning guys. Happy Tuesday. Um, we just got to the dog park. The hooligans are real impatient. Um, I just realized I didn't even start my vlog this morning. Hey, stop. Um, I am going to take them to the dog park, let them get all their energy out, and then I want to get some work done. I have like a to-do list of a bunch of work stuff, and uh, I'm hoping to actually leave the house because I want to go to Sephora and exchange the foundation that I bought. I ended up getting the Makeup by Mario Famous Foundation, like that everyone's talking about, and the um, Contour Stick, and I'm actually not a fan of both of them, but I might have gotten the wrong shade. So I'm either going to get new shades and try them again, or I'm just going to get different products, but I want to go there and exchange those and yeah a few other things there's just a lot of work stuff that i feel like i'm very behind on right now so gotta get to it all done at the park dogs are all icy they had so much fun though because there was a lot of other doodles so there was a lot of running okay let's close the trunk okay these are the most beautiful strawberries i always have such a hard time finding nice ones and steven picked these up at costco for me yesterday like what they're actually so good. I'm gonna make myself, I think, a smoothie with some of these, some blueberries, a raspberries. I'm gonna have an egg. It is cold out. I just left the mall. I got my returns done. I also obviously bought something because, I mean, I have a problem. <laughs> I just got a puffer vest at H&M. And, um, yeah, I always like going to the mall for, like, the one thing that's good about going to the mall, it's a good and bad thing, because sometimes it sucks, is you get a lot of steps in and, <laughs> I do not walk a lot on a day to day, but I think that just comes with like working from home. Like you just are sitting a lot. So I like how I feel knowing I got, you know, a kind of a workout, not a workout, but like steps in. You guys know what I mean. It's so cold. It's hurting my lungs. Anyway. Um, yeah, just getting in my car right now. And that's kind of the plan or what I'm doing right now. Good thing is this mall is close to my house. Put you guys there. It's so cold, my lungs hurt. I'm like breathing heavy, guys. Anyway, I'm gonna put my AirPods away and uh, get going home. I forgot to show you guys what I picked up at Winners yesterday. I found this super cute acrylic organizer. I'm thinking for lipstick or brushes or maybe both. Guys, this is so perfect. And then I picked up this set of fragrance. I actually love this. I don't know how to pronounce this brand. Is it Kish Kisharl? K I don't know. Whatever that brand is. The Amore Amore fragrance is so good. And they had this little set there. You get a small one, put that in my purse, and then this one. It smells really good. And I just thought it was such a nice, nice like little set that I found. And then I got some bully chews, obviously, for the dogs. And then I picked up this robe, guys. I own this Calvin Klein robe in pink, and I always, always wear it. Um, so they had it in white, so I grabbed that as well. And that was my little haul. This is what's for dinner. Steven added so, like, everything with the bagel seasoning, chipotle sauce, soy sauce to his food. But I'm having Diet Dr. Pepper. It just looks really good. Good morning, guys. Happy Wednesday. Just here chilling with the pups right now. I, uh have a hey stop i have a um work call in a couple hours um and then i have some emails to take care of i think i might actually have a second call i'm not sure i need to check my schedule um but lots of fun stuff today so i'm like i might as well give the dog some attention now before i get really busy um i put a little blush and concealer on and some lip gloss just because i didn't want to look like a like I just woke up on my Zoom calls, so guess we'll see how that goes. I need to go make myself something to eat um, and kind of go from there. 
you for being so silly. He's trying to like bury himself into the couch. Having some Lucky Charms and then I'm gonna hop in the shower. But guys, look how many marshmallows are in this. This makes me so happy. I made myself another smoothie. Don't mind my dogs, they're eating. Um, this is the best one I've made so far. It's dragon fruit, mango, pineapple, grapefruit, um, juice, uh, like fresh squeeze. I can't even talk and orange juice, so good. Also guys, tip, if you have dogs and sometimes they get picky about their food, toss it in melted peanut butter and add a little bit of water. It's such a treat for them because Winston's been like really picky recently and wants me to like give him something else. And this has been working, but I'm thinking I might switch their food anyway. Just having a quick lunch right now with leftovers from yesterday. I always get really proud of myself when I eat leftovers because it's not something Steven or I do very often, but I added some soy sauce, chipotle, um, sauce that I made and some cilantro lime sauce and half an avocado. There's still broccoli in here, lots of veggies. Delicious. I'm trying to figure out what paint color to put on this wall. So I put them in natural light. I cannot decide. I kind of like this distant gray up here. Um, and I also like the vanilla milkshake. And then there's all of these. This has got to be the most difficult difficult decision to make anything that has to do with paint is always so hard it's taco night guys honestly i feel like this is basically in our weekly rotation at this point it is so early it's 6 a.m and it feels like 3 a.m i'm so tired I'm just have some sugary cereal again because it's my favorite um some milk i i'm just so tired i don't think i slept well last night and Steven's actually home from work today, but he's still sleeping. Um, so I got up at our regular time without him because I know he wants to sleep in today. He's not been feeling good. He's been having like a, well, just like the regular like stuffy nose and cough that people get at this time of year. Oh my gosh, my head is so itchy. But I'm just gonna have some cereal. into a milk. Anyway, I'm just gonna try to go and like wake up. <laughs> I feel like I'm sleepwalking. All right, I just got ready for the day. Well, almost ready. And I wanna do a little unboxing with you guys. But guys, check out these crazy lashes I put on today um, because I got ready to shoot some content that's like around my face. But I wanna do a little unboxing because I'm not sure if you guys know this brand, but it's called Insert Name Here. Um, I remember I used to be obsessed with like their um, pieces when Vine was around. That's how long ago I feel like I remember this company from. Anyway, they do wigs and ponytail extensions and things like that. So they sent me two things. One of them is a ponytail extension and the other one is a wig. Guys, I'm so excited to put the wig on because it is in the copper color. And you guys know I always say this, if I was to dye my hair a color, it would be copper. But anyway, I wanna show you guys the pieces they sent. So this first one is just a pony, like I think a sleek ponytail. Oh no, this part is caught in the zipper, that's not good. The hairnet that it comes in is completely stuck in the zipper. Well, the good thing is I don't technically need that, so I guess I can rip it to find a way to store it afterwards. So this is the ponytail extension. She is gorgeous and full. Um, comes with a little like scrunchie as well, which is cute. And it comes with two bobby pins. So you basically wrap that part around your head and then like pin it in. But my hair is, a, I don't know. I feel like it's a pretty close match. Maybe, I thought maybe my hair would be slightly darker, but I have some lighter pieces through. So I think this might actually be a really good match but it's like a volume pony, guys. Like, this is so much hair. Like, I don't know exactly how to pin up my hair with hair extensions, but we're going to be trying to put the wig on because I just am so excited about this, guys. All right, so this is the color. Isn't she beautiful? And also there's bangs. Oh, my gosh. This is literally everything. Like, are you kidding me? And it did come with a wig cap as well. Um, which I will find and put on my hair and then I'm gonna be right back 
and put this on with you guys. I'm so excited. Okay, I clearly don't have a lot of experience with wigs and my hair looks crazy pulled back with my extensions, but it's kind of irrelevant because I don't think this is gonna fit on my head. Like, this is probably the smallest wig cap I've ever, ever seen. It is so tiny. Maybe it's supposed to be that small, I guess, because it's supposed to be tight. So we're just gonna shove my ponytail kind of up in there. Like it doesn't have to be perfect because it's not like I'm going anywhere. I'm just gonna shoot a little bit of, ow, I just stabbed myself in the eye. I'm just gonna shoot a little bit of content um, with this and obviously like doing this for you guys, but it's not, and it has bangs. So I think as long as my hair is kind of in it so it can go on pretty smooth, it should be good. Are we ready? I feel like we're ready. Let's just put it on. Um, oh my goodness, I'm so excited. There's clips in it too. So I think you're supposed to like put it on like this. Yeah, I think that's how you're supposed to do it. I don't know. I watch videos of girls putting on wigs, but it's not like I take notes or anything. So I really don't know what the proper way is. And I feel like the fact that I have extensions makes this so much more difficult. Oh my gosh, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to do this. Okay, let's do this. It's like, you almost need like a second person to like hold it down so that you can pin it. I might have to get my husband to come up here and like hold a certain section of it so that I can get it on because this is not how it's supposed to look. That's not even lined up. I wanna make it look as natural as possible, but it just sitting a little high up here. I feel like the more I play around with it, the better it does look. Okay, but we gotta admit, she's a beaut. Like, so much shine, and I love the fact that it's like a blowout style in it. Um, my only thing is, is just trying to, um, get that down back here. Just trying to get it down a little. This is probably one of the nicest wigs I've ever tried on. Okay, that already looks flatter. I feel like that's kind of where I was trying to get it to. Okay. Okay, beautiful guys. This is what I would look like if I had this copper colored hair. I don't think I would do bangs if I was to actually dye my hair and switch it up, but it's fun for the wig. I still think this needs to come a little bit more forward now. I know I could be playing around with it for a long time, but yeah, guys, let me know your thoughts. I'll leave the information down below for you guys to check out and I'll have everything linked. Oh my goodness, so exciting. Okay, so I ended up styling the ponytail for today's content. Guys, it took me half an hour and it's still, I don't think it looks good to get rid of all the bumps because my extensions are everywhere and they also sent me this quick slick stuff to help with that. But it was so hard to do with extensions. Otherwise, I think this would be a dream if I didn't have them. But guys, I feel like Ariana Grande. I'm gonna go shoot some content. This makes me feel kind of like a pop star. Look at these super cute pajamas at Joe Fresh. This robe, I'm obsessed. It's 40 bucks. And then they have this pajama set with shorts. I'm tempted to get them both, but I shouldn't. It is so, so cold outside, but I just finished up at the grocery store. I just needed croutons and Caesar dressing for dinner tonight. So just ran in there quick. But guys, it was so hard for me not to buy those pajamas because I'm actually going to a Galentine's Day pajama party. Um, I think on the 11th of this month, cause it's, yeah, happy February guys. Um, so I need cute pajamas for that. So I'm thinking of maybe getting those, I don't know. I need to think about it because to get the robe plus the set would be $80, which is a lot, <laughs> especially because I have a bunch of pajamas I could wear. I don't actually need to do it. But I wanna show you guys a few cute things that I got in here. Obviously I got, few things of groceries but this might not be exciting to some of you but look how cute this is it's a little berry cup 
like has little holes at the bottom there's a sticker on it now but to rinse your berries and the color of it is so nice I don't know for eight bucks I was like coming on with me and I picked up two pairs of my favorite uh, lashes these are the Quo uh, premium lashes in the style extra they're a little bit expensive but I feel like these are the lashes that I can always depend on they're not the ones I'm wearing today but these ones are a bit more dramatic than I'm wearing today, but these have almost become my everyday slightly dramatic lash because I don't really do a very natural lash. So I picked up two pairs, kind of hurts because I think they're like, my goodness, I don't even know how much they are, like maybe 20 or are they less than 20 a pair? No, 20 sounds extreme. I don't know where my receipt is or else I could check. Maybe like, I don't know, 18 or something? I can't honestly... I don't even know what I'm saying at this point, but they're a little bit pricier, but they are premium lash. So I normally can wear mine for a couple months, like the same pair if I wanted to, if I'm careful with them. But anyway, guys, I'm going to go home now. It's 2.30. Um, going to uh, do a little bit more work when I get home. I'm hoping to actually shoot some more content, but so many of my packages are not in, which is frustrating. Um, but yeah, besides that, I'll just find something to do at home. All right, I'm just making dinner right now. It's a cauliflower bed with, it's kind of like chicken parmesan, but with cauliflower at the bottom. I saw it on TikTok and um, I've been dying to try it since. And then I'm just putting marinara on top of the chicken breast as well. These are just browned. They're not at all cooked. Um, I gotta throw this in the oven, but I'm doing lots of sauce. Yeah, I think that's probably good because I already put sauce underneath. And then I'm going to add mozzarella because you can never have too much cheese. And it again. And then, see this being a cameraman, um, some Parmesan on top as well. So two different types of cheese. And then I'm gonna throw that in the oven for probably like 45 minutes. Okay, but look at how good this turned out. Lots of Caesar salad. Ah, oh, I can't wait to eat this. Good morning, guys. Um, happy Friday. I am just heading to Clear Float Spa in Calgary. So if you're in the area, I will let you guys know how it is. I was invited to come and try a float session on them. And if you don't know what that is, it's kind of like these pods that have salt water in them and you like float in them with like no noise. And it's supposed to be this extremely zen experience. Like I've seen a lot of celebrities who even talk about it, um, the way that they recommend like float sessions or whatever. So I'm very excited to try um, and just see how I feel about it. So that's kind of where I'm heading right now. My appointment is at 10.15, it is 9.30. Um, I'm supposed to be there 15 minutes early, so. And I also need to, you know, vlog for you guys and just give myself a little bit of extra time. So, yeah, I'll let you guys know how it goes. This is what the pod looks like. Gorgeous light in here, and then this is where you can take a shower before and after because this is salt water. And then you can change the dials for the volume of sound because there's like a spa kind of sound you can pick from. And the light, and you just get to float in here and this water is warm. I'm so excited and I'm gonna be like floating for like an hour so yeah I'm gonna get to showering and get zen this is the little zen room you hang out in after they've got all these books these comfy places to sit and you can write on the wall so so cute I finished up at that spa I'm feeling so zen and relaxed but then I picked up Steven and we're at Costco yeah, we, that's a nice color. I don't know if I love it though. I'm just gonna get some things that we need and some things that we want, the usual. This is our little mini haul at Costco. We got some treats, these little souffles and this. I've been wanting to get this. I saw someone talk about it on TikTok. Some things for Harvey and Winston and then some essentials. Good afternoon, guys. Happy, what is today? Saturday. <laughs> Um, we're just on our way to get brunch right now. I'm just gonna touch up my lip gloss. Share a new lip combo with you guys. This is the Morphe um, Big Sweet Tea lip gloss. It's so good and it, it's a lip plumping gloss too. And I paired it with the Beauty Vault Cozy Kira lip liner. 
I am loving this. It's so cute. It's such a nice lip combo. Plus, I feel like it makes my eyes pop. And we always like that. And yeah, that's kind of our plan. We're just gonna have a chill Saturday and brunch is the only thing we have planned. <laughs> I got a Montreal Eggs Benedict and Steven got the Queen breakfast. It looks so good. Yummy. Throwing some snowballs with the dogs. Steven just took um, Winston inside, but look how excited he gets about this. Here you go. Want to catch it? <laughs> anyway, time to go inside. It's freezing. <laughs> hey guys happy sunday um we are just heading to a new church today we have obviously not tried this we want to find a church in calgary one of the most difficult things about moving is having to find a new church i'd rather find a new doctor hairdresser whatever it may be but it's really hard for me to feel at home in a new church um because it's just one of those things that like you need to feel comfortable you need to feel like at home and just all these things so hopefully it's good i'll let you guys know afterwards our thoughts um but yeah that's where we're headed right now you guys are so cute just chilling on the couch watching tv with dad they're watching cloud nine not cloud nine superstore we are having a build your own burrito bowls night i made two different sauces this one's cilantro lime and a chipotle one some chicken Pico de gallo, a little bit of guac because Steven doesn't like it, some veggies, beans, lettuce, and here's some sour cream. Mm -hmm. The bowls are all done. Guys, they look so good. This is Steven's and this is mine. Oh my goodness, I'm so excited to eat. Sorry, Wednesday, you can't have none. All right, I'm just sitting here editing my vlog. Steven's there watching YouTube videos. Um, Sorry, this vlog was kind of all over the place. I feel like my vlog basically nowadays is just food, but I'm so happy to be back and hope that you guys enjoyed it. But I had a few thoughts, like I mentioned in the beginning of this vlog, I'm kind of doing a little bit rebranding, trying to see where my priorities, because time is everything to me and this is very time consuming, but I love vlogging. So I wanted to know you guys' thoughts on this on me doing like daily vlogs. Like I don't think I would be able to do like seven of them a week, but a daily vlog um, that I would upload like as a YouTube short, like on YouTube. That way I can put them on TikTok because I, I want to be more active on TikTok this year. So I was thinking I would do vlogs and post on TikTok and on YouTube shorts. That way you guys would still get vlog content. Um, but just a week for me to try something new. Maybe I can just like give it a go and see what we think. But I don't know if I can commit to it because I've been doing this for years now, vlogging in long form. Um, but yeah, let me know you guys' thoughts. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. Um, I'm so happy to be back and I'll see you in my next vlog, whether that is a short form or one of these. I love you guys.